Okay, we're gonna pull the knob off here. Take these screws out. Probably can't get that out of there without putting myself in danger of getting a shock, so we're going to stay clear for now. Cut these wires off. So that's, got some pretty big capacitors here that I should probably make sure are discharged before I start poking them around. So we'll drill the rivets out for them. Cut the wire to one of them. So cross it over and make sure it's make sure they're discharged. Cut the wires. Quite an interesting way of holding stuff together. Instead of using ties, they just used the ground wire wrapped around all, everything else to, to hold the wires together. So now I guess we will take the transformer out since I've cut all the wires from it. transformer. Holy. Look at that. Uh-oh. Hmm. That broke really easily. I'm glad. There's two large banks of these uh, ballasts. I keep forgetting what they're called. Look at the dust on the back of that. It's been sitting there for a few years, eh? Wow, that's heavy. All right, we've got five more ballasts across the back. I have no use 
use for this. As much as I would like to think I'll use it for something, I won't. So these are obviously very old. I'm going to grab my scale just so I can uh, show you guys how heavy these things really are. That is about 11 pounds. Between 11 and 12 pounds. That is ridiculous. So, what's inside of a ballast other than, I mean, this obviously has a large metal core, but what else is in here? I guess there's only one way to find out. Well, Google would probably also tell me, but what fun is that? Alright, we're going to have to use some force and get this thing apart once we get one apart maybe it'll uh, make it so we can get another one apart without using so much force but the first time around we're just going to use brute force and smash this thing apart well not just brute force a little bit of brains We'll use leverage to our advantage and all that. Okay, so we've had connectors on each end for the looks of it. And then I will grab this end of it. Try to smash this end of it off and see. Yeah. There's wire wrapped through it. I have no idea in what sort of direction or orientation the wire is in. That's not going to be easy wire to recover. But by breaking the end off, I can see that there's two separate pieces. I'm not sure how I can, or it, I'm not sure how or if I can um, get it apart. But we're going to work on it. Might be able to drive the center out, but I don't think so. I think it's hooked in. Might be able to drive it out this way, actually. Let's break this other end off and see. <clears throat> All right. So here we have the other end of the coil. We'll just take our side cutters here and break this stuff away. Snip these off. Yeah, it looks to me like this line is where it divides. So 
if we hit down on here, we might be able to get this center section to push out. The question is how much force is required. What I'm going to try to do first is put the whole thing in the vise, or just put the end of it in the vise rather, and see if I can break away a few segments. See if I can break away a few segments just so that we can see how it comes apart. Oh, there we go. So we've got a few pieces to move. Oh, that's the wrong way to loosen. Alright, I'm going to hold it again and get a hammer and chisel and see if I can knock the outside away. Oh, no way. That's way easier than I thought it was going to be. All right, let's let's continue on. That's awesome. Let's see if we can convince it to come out this way. I'm not going to try too hard, but I'm just going to drive this in here a little bit like this. Oh yeah, it's working. Uh, maybe it's not. Oh yeah, it just drove out, just drove out one section. I guess we still have a lot to do. I can make one of them look pretty.
So this is what's inside of an old ballast. A large coil. Alright, so now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more of these to do. So this is what we're left with. I've got this much copper. I guess I do have one more piece over here. So I've got that copper and then I've got this pail of steel from the cores and uh, very little trash actually. So that's good.